Hi and welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today we are I'm trying something new because I've been getting a lot of questions. I've been putting a little bit recently on social media um, about juggling because basically I was used to be a juggler. That's how I started my performing life. I was a juggler as a hobby, then met a couple of street performers and just the whole thing just completely um, captured me and I loved it. I loved doing it, practicing it, I loved watching it. Uh, and I always have done, but I got out of it for years. And recently, in lockdown, I got back into it, just doing it like I did with Magic for the joy of it. And it's helped me a great deal with my physical, mental health. Um, I love practicing Magic, but sometimes you just want something that isn't just sat down doing a thing. And that whole thing about kind of, you know, incorporating the body, it, it really helped me go back to more Magic practice and, and having something that kind of t seems to use the same, um, the same kind of, engine <laughs> in my brain if you see what I mean. So when I put a couple of things on a lot of people contact me and said you know I've, I've always wanted to start learning juggling and you know where do I do that what what can you you know tell me what good clubs to get good balls to get um, etc and contact juggling as well is one of my big passions I'm not that great at it but I absolutely love it and uh, I didn't know what to say because I was kind of out of the loop. And then Cascade Juggling, I got in touch with them and they said, well, we'll send you some stuff if you want to talk about it. We're really proud of it. You know, it's good beginner stuff, but it's also good for people who, who are sort of further than beginners. So you don't want something that's just going to be for beginners and then the minute you can do a few things, be completely useless. Uh, so they sent me some stuff and I'm really impressed. So I thought I'd share it with you and I'm going to start reviewing a little bit more juggling stuff. And, you know, don't... <laughs> A lot of people in magic have said to me before, when you do flourishing, oh, it's just like juggling. And my thing is like, yeah, <laughs> which is great, you know, because if you can do all this stuff, it does kind of feed the other things that you do. So these are the Cascade Classic, Classic, <laughs> Classic. <laughs> that was even more lispy than usual, wasn't it? <laughs> Cascade Classic uh, Thuds. And if you don't know, Thuds are like the juggling balls, but they're... They're not, you know, if you buy sort of cheap, cheap, cheap juggling balls, they're really ultra light and they're really flimsy and they're actually really, really hard to juggle. So it's actually getting something with a bit of weight that feels like a, a kind of good quality ball. And the reason they're called thuds, obviously, is because if they drop, they don't roll, they, they thud. And these have got seed fill. You can get balls with like plastic, sort of artificial seeds in them. These are seeds and they're quite firm. And this is quite important. You again will find juggling balls that have got really squashy and it's just a preference really. My preference is a ball that's a little bit more firm. If you're thinking of jokes when I say this and you're going to put something in the comments, it's all been done. It's like the thing with magic where people go, oh, well, you made my wife disappear. It's like that. So don't even bother. <laughs> I'm going to say the word balls a lot basically, right? And that's all right. We know where we are. So these are firm, which means they keep their shape. Now they will soften a bit with use, all right? But... I like the fact they look a bit like stage balls. Now, stage balls are solid juggling balls, a lot harder to learn with because they kind of, when they collide, they just go everywhere. So these have a look of something that's a little bit firm. And it, there is something about the way, the way they look that I really, really like. They keep their shape. And of course, again, I'm not going to say it again, after time, they're going to, oh, they're going to, they're going to go and they're going to get softer, but they're not going to, I don't think they're going to get super, super, super soft. Um, and the thing is, these are cheap, you know, like when I was, even when I was learning back in the 90s, you know, juggling balls the, that I bought were, were more expensive than this. I'll put them there for a minute. So uh, these are a really good uh, option. Now, it's not like I've, well, I have actually, I've used a lot of, I did when I got back into it, I bought a couple of sets. And for beginners, you know, really inexpensive juggling balls, these are great. So please use the links below. They, they've got them in a variety of colours. For stage, I really like white if I take these on stage. And like I said, with a lot of thuds, I wouldn't take them on stage. I would these. Um, and for outside, I tend to like a kind of orange or a solid colour ball. But they do loads of different ones. So check them out on the website and use the links below. But that's the first recommendation for you. Um, the Cascade Classic Thuds for beginner and uh, advanced jugglers. You know, I'd happily use these. And I, it doesn't bother me at all. It didn't, they're not a, a, a beginner's. Uh, juggling ball. So any questions you've got about this, do let me know. And anything else you want to know about these that I haven't covered, this is a new thing, talking about juggling stuff, and I'm sure there's there's a lot of other questions, but uh, but anything about learning tricks, I'll happily go, uh, go over. So thanks very much. Take care. Um, please like, subscribe, check out carbmagiccourse.com. That's the online card magic course I've got of over 400 videos, weekly sessions, and people absolutely love it. It's a great, very proud of it. 
So check out carmagicalcourse.com, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, tell your friends and have a great one. Take care.